Hey everyone, so in today's video, I am going to be reviewing the Dibbity Doo Girls with Curls gel and also the Dibbity Doo Girls with Curls coconut curl butter. And this was basically my first time using these products in my hair together and using the gel basically for the first time and I have a lot to say about it. So as you guys can see, I am currently rocking a wash and go and this is basically what my hair looks like after using these products in my hair. I've used the conditioner in the past and I would say for me personally, I don't find it super moisturizing. Depending on my hairstyle, it won't be too bad or depending on what I'm using alongside with it. But for this, I've used it quite a few times. The consistency isn't necessarily super thick, but it's not really, really creamy. It's kind of in the middle. It feels like like lotion I guess the best way to describe it for me I guess my hair really needs a lot of moisture in order for it to show that my wash and go is soft but still really defined so if that makes sense and honestly I was a little hesitant because I wasn't sure how strong of the hold the gel would be but so far my hair is holding up and it looks pretty good considering this is the second day I would say it's not completely 100% dry like I feel like my roots and so I can still feel a little bit of moisture but overall I'm really loving how my hair turned out unfortunately I didn't necessarily style it ideally to what I normally do normally I do like a little side part I actually have a middle part going on but I just kind of flip the hair over and while I was doing my makeup and everything getting ready I just took some clips and just like kind of pinned it down just so it would basically make this kind of part that's going on but anyways let's just get right into the details about the gel so as you can see it comes in this 11.5 fluid ounces bottle which is basically 340 ml and it comes in this cute packaging i did pick mine up at walmart and i was really curious to see how it worked for me because i have used the other products within the dvd do curl girls with curls line and i really do like it so i was intrigued to use the gel now surprisingly i use quite a bit this was like at least almost a full size bottle and our container and now it's like half as you guys can see it's this really nice pink color but yeah i use quite a bit just to achieve this hairstyle i maybe could have used a little bit less but because i didn't know how good the hole was going to be but overall i think it turned out really good a lot of definition i love how it's basically the perfect size normally i have to wait until like maybe day three or day four for me to have basically my full volume the only downside i would say is Surprisingly, this gel didn't seem like it would have such a strong hold. I thought it was going to be more of a lighter hold and my hair would feel a lot more softer. But my hair feels extremely crunchy. So I don't know if I used too much or I guess I didn't realize how strong of a hold this gel was. And my hair just like it's just very, very crunchy. Um, when I pull on certain areas, like I can't see a gel cast. And I don't think this basically dried out my hair because it doesn't have any alcohol or parabens in it. So I can't say that it dried out my hair, but I can just definitely tell that my hair is just crunchy and I'm not used to that whenever I do any wash and goes or anything like that. I mean, it can work in some aspects considering that like right now it's like 35 degrees outside and it's extremely hot. So I won't really have too much frizz because this does say I have like frizz control, but in cases where it's not as hot outside i don't necessarily want it to be so crunchy and stuff like that like yes i want it to last but i don't want to have like brittle-ish feeling here so like in a case like this where it's extremely hot outside i definitely want my hair to last so i don't mind a crunch but sometimes mm, not always one thing i think i might actually be able to do without disturbing the curl pattern too much is basically spraying a little bit of oil on my hair just so I can really get back that moisture and make sure my hair does feel soft and not extremely dry throughout the rest of the week. I did get quite a bit of shrinkage, if you guys can kind of tell, but honestly, there's nothing I can do about that. I've used gels in the past where part of my hair kind of didn't curl at all and I had to like put in like rollers or just like really scrunch it. But for this, all I did was just my regular wash and go routine and then just made sure I shook my hair every so often just to make sure the curls were nice and loose and not clumping together so I'm really happy about that that I didn't have to do anything extra like an extra step just to make my hair curly it all basically curled up my hair overall I do recommend you guys trying this out maybe this gel will work better for other hairstyles but for wash and go I just have to be careful of what I'm using with it
interested to find out more about this product i'll leave all the information down below and if you'd like to buy it for yourself you can go to your local walmart or even get it online as well i well, thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you all in my next video bye